Hi everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Today I have Happy Meal to share with all of you and this package comes from my dear friend Debbie Williams whom I met on Instagram a while back and you guys, I just adore her. She is the sweetest lady, just a very genuine soul and um, she and I have gotten to know each other through the uh, past few months and like I said I don't know there's just something about her that I just I really think she's just so genuine and I just love talking to her she's just the sweetest so she sent me a surprise package and I wasn't expecting it and she says oh it's nothing I just you know sent it in the mail you can do whatever you want with it because I had asked her if, if I you know if she minded if I filmed it and she's like well she goes, you can do whatever you want with it, but it's nothing great. But you know, I don't care what it is that anybody sends me. I appreciate it when somebody sends me something. So I always want to make sure that I get it on video. So thank you so much, Deb. That was very thoughtful and kind of you. So let's go ahead and open up this package. Oh, before we open it up, I want you to see how cute this is. Look at all of her cute, adorable stickers. Aren't those so, so cute? All the cute little tiny poodles. This one's kind of covered up. This is not a poodle. You can't really see it. And she even decorated the back, you guys. See the cupcake? And an apple. And it looks like a lemon head. So, so cute. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is, um, for this size, I use these. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, I did it again. I ripped up this darn thing. Oh, Deb, I'm so sorry. This is the second time I have done this. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, I cannot believe I did that. Cannot believe I did that. It's a diamond art. Oh my gosh, it says picture inside. You'll need to get it framed. Look at that, you guys. I cut up a portion of it and I wonder if it can still be salvaged. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. You guys, I am the worst at opening up packages. And thank goodness, look, it's not a part. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank goodness it was just the top. So I can still frame this. I just, I'm going to cut off the rest of the top of this so that it's even. And it looks like it's not destroyed. My heart is pounding so hard right now, you guys, because... I would just feel so, so bad if something happened to somebody, to something that somebody worked so hard on and I destroyed it. I would feel so, so awful. Look at this beautiful print, you guys. And Deb, this is not nothing. She says, it's nothing. This is gorgeous. And do you know, I know how much time it takes to put these diamond art photos together. Oh my gosh, this is is gorgeous you guys can i just show you i know it doesn't fit long ways on the camera but i'm gonna show it to you this way isn't this so beautiful oh my goodness so deb did the diamond art on this and it's on her tail and i know she's been doing diamond art uh she started i think it was like a month or two ago and she if you guys check out her instagram you'll see i think uh couple maybe a couple of them that she's already finished so look at that oh my gosh so so gorgeous and i've always wanted to try diamond art it's amazing deb thank you so much honey i really really love this and i can't wait to frame it i just love all of the colors in this very very whimsical and just so beautiful i can't stop staring at it and I know I'm gonna have to get a really beautiful frame to go with this. Oh, you guys, my heart is still beating. Oh my gosh, I really thought I destroyed it. And then I saw, it wasn't so bad. When I first cut this part off and I pulled it out, it was like, okay, maybe it's nothing. And when I saw the mermaid's head, that's when my heart was like, kaboom, kaboom. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, sweetie. This is just so beautiful. Okay, it looks like she's included a few other pieces of goodies in this package. And she cracks me up because this is just so gorgeous. And I can't believe she says, oh, it's nothing. I would have felt so awful if I did not film this because I have to share something as beautiful as this. 
Okay, let's go ahead and pull the rest. Oh gosh, okay, Deb, nothing. There's quite a few things in here. And Deb, really, you did not have to do this, sweetie. You really didn't. All right, let's see. Oh wow, look at these beautiful napkin pieces. Oh my goodness, isn't this so cute? Oh, look, she shared four pieces with me. Okay. So, Deb, I love these, and as much as I'd love to hoard these, I'm gonna share two of them. I already have two people in mind that I know I want to share this these with. So two I'll keep and hoard, and then this one is going out to my friend Lisa Balzaret, who collects napkins, and I think she would appreciate this. This one is going out to my friend Corn, Corn Riley at Cornflower Crafts because she loves Paris themes. So thank you so much for sharing these with me. I love these and I'm definitely gonna try using these in one of my junk journals because I have seen where somebody mod podge uh, a napkin onto a page and it was so beautiful. So I'm really excited about these. I can't wait, thank you so much. All right, oh more, oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful these are. Wow, oh beautiful so beautiful and thank you for sharing so many of them with me and then look at these teacups oh my goodness I love these so so beautiful thank you so much and I may have to hoard all of these because they're teacups <laughs> thank you for those and then look at this this I've never seen before it's color me flowers and swirls card toppers oh interesting I'm gonna open this up because I've never seen anything like this and I'm curious as to what it is. Oh, okay, ooh, okay, I get it. Wow, these are really cute. So what you can do is lay this onto a colored photo mat. You need to color them and make them your own and they're gorgeous. And lay them onto a um, photo mat to make a card. Isn't that beautiful? And you know, I probably don't really have to use these on just a card. I'm pretty sure I can use these on my junk journals or whatever it is that I am creating. Oh gosh, these are gorgeous. These are just so beautiful. And to be honest with you, that's what I'm thinking right now is my junk journal. These would look so cute on them. I love these. Look at these cut aparts. Like, these are just like the little tags and um, frames. How cute would these be once you colored them? I mean, they're cute in black and white, but how cute would these be colored? Wow, thank you for sharing those. Okay, look at this. So this is an emboss, embossing, what do you call these, you guys? Um, it's like an embossing card, I think. Yes, look at that. How cute is that? So this is for a Christmas card. This is so darn cute. It's three snowmen. Can you guys see this? Oh, you probably can't. Let me see if I could clear these so you could see the image a little closer. Can you see it a little better? Okay, if I tilt it a little. Okay, well, if you can't see them, they are three adorable snowmen with snowflakes. These are so, so adorable. I can't wait to try and make a Christmas card out of these. So, so cute. Okay, and then this we already saw. Oh, you know what? I did not open my card because all of that accident with the cutting threw me off. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Oh my gosh. I'm still nervous. I'm still kind of shaky about that opening and destroying that piece. Oh my gosh. Okay, forgive me for not opening this first, sweetie. My brain is still on that piece that I cut apart and destroyed. Okay. So well, look at this. It says, great minds think alike. And look how beautiful this is. I'm just not familiar with all the terms, but if you look at this card, Deb has done such a beautiful job in painting this card and it looks like there's watercolor on it as well so look at how beautiful this card is let me read it really quick oh she's so sweet so she wrote my note separate so that i can use this and i will definitely use this this is just so so cute in fact i will use this um for the next package 
I send out for the next friend mail package that I send out. It's just so gorgeous. Thank you so much, hon. And let me read the letter really quick. Oh, she's so sweet and just so thoughtful. Okay, so it says, I tried this to see if it would work. Thought you might want to try it. Paper napkin transfer. Iron plastic wrap. These are the things you need. Iron plastic wrap, cloth to protect table or counter, parchment paper, napkins, card stock. Peel the white paper off the back of the napkins, then place the cloth down on whatever you are working on. Next is parchment paper, card stock, plastic wrap. I found the plastic wrap from the Dollar Tree. Works best. Napkin and then parchment paper. Again, iron slowly and check after about three or four minutes to see if the napkin is sticking to the cardstock. It might take a little longer depending on your iron. I set my iron on the first setting after permapress with no steam. This is what it turned out as. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Deb, because I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on, let me show you what she did, okay. So do you see this napkin that she has shared with me? This is what she did. She transferred it onto this piece of cardstock and look how beautiful it came out. And I can't believe an iron would do that. So you guys, let me go ahead and put this on the screen because this is wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that Deb because now I can share this with everyone if you don't mind and I'm going to have everybody if you want to try this, go ahead and snapshot this. And I hope it's okay with you, Deb, if I share this. Um, I know it would be because I know you. you're just such a sweet and generous soul. You would want everyone to know how to do this. So um, this is what she made and these are her instructions. I hope you guys were able to screenshot that. And look at the beautiful piece that you get. You get your own decorative cardstock. This is what I meant about uh, watching some YouTube videos and seeing that somebody had used napkins on their journal. This is exactly what I want. In fact, thank you for this because I can use this on my journal now. That was awesome. Thank you so much. You are just so creative. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to open first. All right. Let's. Let me show you guys this first. So here, oh, so cute. Oh my goodness, Deb. Here we have some die cuts, and these are Christmas just in time to start making all of my Christmas um, projects. Look at how pretty. Christmas tree, a Christmas tree in front of a beautiful window, and then these cute little ornaments. I love the colors that she printed them in too. There's one on sparkly paper. Love that, thank you for sharing those. I know that, you know, I, I mentioned this before, any of you who know that um, die cuts may seem easy, a lot of them are if there's not a, little, a lot of holes, but for those dies that have a lot of holes, it takes time to um, put these through the machine and then punch all those holes out. So I really appreciate you doing that, Deb. That was really sweet of you. All right, so this here, look at This is what I wanted to scream about because look. Oh my gosh. These are the cutest wood veneer pieces or wood pieces that I have ever seen. I, do, I own a lot of these, but I do not own any of these pieces. These are very unique pieces to me. Look at that. It's a typewriter. How cute is that? And for any of you guys who do not know what a typewriter is because you're not my age, then... Um, let me explain to you what it is. It's it's a machine that we used back in the day to write letters or type out things. You know how you guys have the computer and the keyboard? It's basically a machine keyboard that you stick a piece of paper in and you type away. And so a little star and then, oh, look at that. Isn't that so cute? This is so very cute and this is so cute. And then the little snowman, I love those. So speaking of typewriters, I first learned to use one when I was younger and I used to write letters to my grandpa because he worked um, up north a few hours from where we lived. And so he would write 
to me and he loved to type. My grandpa loved to type and I can imagine if he was around today, he was very curious, he loved to learn. I bet you he would be so great on the computer. I can just imagine that and he used to write me letters and he used to type it on his typewriter. So I would type on my typewriter and I would send him letters back and I think I may still own one of the letters that he, I think I kept one that was very special to me. I'm gonna to have to check my box of, uh, um, my memory box in my garage to see if I still have that. But thank you so much for that. That is so sweet, love all that. And then, oh look at she shared a dream catcher with me. How beautiful is this? I've always seen these. I always see these dream catchers and I've never owned one. I think they're very beautiful. And look at the color of this. Isn't that so pretty? Love that. So, so pretty. Beautiful. All right. And then let's see what's in here. Ooh. Okay. Lots of goodies in here. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? She's made these tags. These are beautiful. And again, mixed media. She does such great work at mixed media. I'm going to have to try this. I can tell she did her painting on here and I don't even know what type of paint this is it, or if it's that type that you, I, I don't even know the name for it. I'm so embarrassed, you guys. Here I am crafting and I, I don't know the terms for a lot of these things, but it's so gorgeous. So if you guys want to help me out, you can put on there. I'm going to put it closer. And this paint that she used is kind of like metallic. And I don't know how she did it. She's gonna have to show me. It's just so beautiful. So she's added metal. She's added this beautiful gold flower and she's added this three-dimensional sticker and even little words or sentiments. This one says, you can do it. And it says, thanks. And it says, love. And I'm definitely gonna add this to a future project. I love these. And this one says, hooray, and look how beautiful that is. I love her layering technique. She does such a beautiful job of layering. I need to start trying to do this kind of stuff more. I love that. And it says, bought a kit that marbleizes paper. Here's a sample of what it does. Duh, Dolly, why didn't you read that first? See, I'm telling you, Deb knows me so well that she went ahead and explained all of this because I think she knew that I was gonna ask exactly that. See, that's why I love her so much because I feel like she can read my mind and she does. Thank you so much, sweetie. Okay, so that's what it is. It it's a kit that marbleizes the paper and that's how she got this technique. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna put it closer. So, so pretty. Thanks, Deb, and thanks for the explanation, hon. You know I need all the explanation I can get. Okay, so look at this. These are the mar marbleized papers that she has made and that she was trying to explain that's also done using this card. I should have showed you these. So um, that's this back paper that she used. Look at how beautiful. Now you can see them a little bit closer. And you know what, I hope you guys can, I have this centered. Okay, so look at how beautiful this is. It is gorgeous, I love that. It looks, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of taffy or lava flowing. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use these cards. So look at that. This looks more like lava flowing. And so look, these are postcards, you guys. So what she's done is, look at this. It says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. I love that. And then it's got the ocean. So beautiful. So she used blue to represent like the water. Isn't that so gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to save this one for sure because I'm gonna want it for me. This is so beautiful. Okay, I'm putting that aside because that is mine. I'll share the rest, but I'm keeping the other one. Okay, this one says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. Oh, so pretty. You guys, look how beautiful these colors, this color combination is, the green, the red, and the yellow. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like candy to me. That's pretty. That's black and white. Black and white. Ooh, doesn't that look like the ocean? Wow, so pretty. And then the green. So, so pretty. Look at, she's mixed the stamps too. She's also stamped. 
So this one says, find joy in the ordinary. Very beautiful. And then this one says, live each day with a grateful heart. So, so true and so, so beautiful, these colors. So Deb knows too that I love sentiments. I love sayings. So I'm really going to have a hard time letting these go. And then look at this one, you guys. It says, the earth laughs in flowers. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I can imagine this in some kind of like a, a fairy tale themed or like a fairy themed something. It's really, really gorgeous. And then another one that's in the blues. I'm curious. I would love to see how this technique goes, how it does. And I wish Deb had a YouTube channel so that she could show her techniques. So beautiful. This one has, it looks like she's stamped snowflakes on this one, if you can tell. And then here's more of that one that looks like lava. So, so, ooh, gosh, you guys, look at how beautiful the gold is on here. And this one's got flowers stamped on it, but isn't that gold beautiful? I love anything with gold. So gorgeous. And then the red and the yellows, that's really pretty. So pretty. Okay, so I, it starts all over again. I didn't put these aside, so thank you for those. She introduces me to so many new techniques, and she's just so talented. She, you know, I, she amazes me. I just cannot get over some of the things that she does, and she's always trying new things. She's not afraid to leap in to try new techniques, and I love that about her so much. Okay, so let me put that aside, and then look at these beautiful stickers. It's, these are by Little Yellow Bicycle, and I don't own these, but I've seen them. They are gorgeous, so thank you for sharing that. Look at this cute little bluebird. Isn't that so beautiful? Love that. Thank you. I love it because they're in blues. All right, so this one is an embossing folder. Look how beautiful this is. I wonder if I can open this. Yeah, I can. There it is. Look at how pretty that is. Wouldn't this look gorgeous on a card? Okay, let me open it up. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I love feeling these. I love it. Thank you for that, Deb. I can't wait to use this. So pretty. Okay, and then she shared some more paper with me. Look at this. So beautiful. Look at this, and it's it's another Paris theme with the Eiffel Tower. This would go perfect in a junk journal because, let me tell you why, the size of this, oh, that's beautiful. This looks like the napkin. It is. Oh, so what she did is she used the napkin to do, to make these papers. <gasps> so, so pretty. I'm like, why do I recognize those? Okay, here you go. So here is the napkin she used for this. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Okay, so these were for these and I'm definitely gonna have to try this. So, so gorgeous, okay. And then this sheet is the one she made using this napkin. You guys, I'm gonna try this on one of my, I have a couple, I'm not a big napkin collector, you guys, so I probably own maybe three sets of napkins and of course they're all going to be ocean themed so i cannot wait to make one in the ocean themed one in the using the ocean themed napkins and then look at this so these are color me it's a paper pack beautiful so thank you for those this one is susan flowers six pack and these are coloring sheets and they're really good cardstock so look at how you can use these you can color them and use them for uh, photo mats to put your pictures isn't that pretty love that and this would be fun to do using my watercolors that a sweet friend of mine gave me a while back so I think that's what I might use these for is to use my watercolor set and try these out Look at all these sheets. There's quite a few in here. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. So thank you so much, Deb, for all of my wonderful, wonderful goodies. Not only that, she has gifted me with enough to share 
with my other friends and I, I really truly appreciate that because she shares what she learns and she's so generous with it. Like these cards, I am so excited to share these and show them off to my other friends. And like I said, I really wish you had a YouTube channel, Deb, so that you can share this technique with us. I mean, thank you so much for the instructions and everything too, because that just helps so, so much. You would not believe how grateful I am for all of your little notes and all of your little instructions. So, so beautiful. I have to lay all of this out again because it's just too beautiful not to see again. And again, I need to apologize to you, sweetie, for cutting the tip off of this. And I'm so glad because it's not going to show under the frame when I frame this. Yay. So I'm excited about that. Still a little shaky, but very excited. You guys, I do not trust me with your packages. What I'm thinking is what I might do from now on so that I don't goof like that again is maybe I will open up the package um, I know some of my other friends on YouTube, they do that. They pre-open the packages and then they just, you know, take everything out on video. So maybe that's what I'll do. And this way I can shake everything down and make sure to remember the reason why I have to open it up before I film so that I don't destroy anything. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself and lecturing myself. Okay, all righty, let me this out here and oops I'm dropping everything you guys I apologize okay so this goes with the napkins I like everything in order okay isn't this all beautiful oh my gosh thank you thank you thank you so much Deb I love you hun this is so so sweet and thoughtful of you and I am so excited to use all of this and share all of this and incorporate all of this into my future projects and most of all to learn the new techniques that you have shared with me and everyone today you guys please check out Deb's Instagram and tell her I sent you and you know what if you took a screenshot of this wonderful instruction sheet that she has prepared tell her thank you i think that she is just so sweet thank you deb and i will talk to all of you soon thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week bye everyone